1962 was the one I opened up. Well, I was single at the time, and to me it was just, it was, I was working on the assembly line at the Corvair plant in Willow Run, okay, and worked out there probably two or three years, and it was either like make this thing go, because I knew the trade, or work on the assembly line until I died. When we poured the cement, we put the, you know, at the front door. Yeah, we just took lock cylinders and key blanks and stuck them in the cement as it was drying. Specialty work, you know, like automobiles and all this, and the security systems on automobiles. And a lot of, lot of business that way. Yeah. We do, in fact, we do a lot of work for uh, Dan Gilbert's Bedrock Industries, you know, it's uh, the maintenance crew. And what he does over in his place is he's not just taking locks off doors that are worn out and throwing them away, he has them refurbished. He keeps all the original stuff in there, you know, which is really different. Usually nowadays everybody's replacing doors, stuff like that, you know. And these, he's keeping everything the way it was back in the, you know, when the buildings were built in the 20s, you know, which is nice. Back when I was a kid, you know, like uh, being the oldest of 11, raised at six mile in Gratiot, you know, and you know, all I remember when I was dating my wife and my mother-in-law, you know, well, no, at the time she said, what's this guy do for a living? Well, he's a locksmith installs locks and make keys, and her answer was, I never had a key made in my life, you know? <laughs> but I guess there is need for us. But back then, we were kids, who the hell locked doors, right? Yeah, things have changed. Yeah, you know, during the riots in 67, uh, you know, the downturn, uh, it's, you know, a lot of different things affects any kind of a business. I say this quite often to people. They come in and they, I, I, you know, I couldn't find this all these different places I went to, you know, but I, you know, I know you'd have it, they usually say. So, well, if, I always tell them, if you find anybody better, let me know so I can take a vacation. I remember when I was in the services in the Navy and over in the Mediterranean in the late 50s and Chief Bosun's mate comes up to me and he was left over from World War II in Korea and he says, where are you from, son? I says, I'm from Detroit. He says, you know, if we went to war right now, that would be the first city we'd bomb. They would bomb because hey, we would, we're the arsenal of democracy and all the stuff that came out of here. Hopefully they'll get back to it. Not my lifetime, you know, maybe my kids or grandkids, they'll, they'll see the city come to something. I'm sure it'll happen with the help of Gilbert and Illich and Penske and the rest of them. hanging out down here because, because Dan, who is Fred's younger brother, works here and I used to come down here just to visit. And one, 
At one time I was laid off from General Motors and there was a job opening here and Fred asked if I was interested. Been here ever since. Well, Fred has been in business since 1962. So this would be year number 54. Well, I know, 52. <laughs> Going on 53. And like I, the thing I think is like Fred always tells people if they're if they're they're questioning something, it's like you don't stay in business that many years by treating people wrong. And you treat the people right, they're going to treat you right. That's the way we uh, we believe in it. And hopefully it can carry over into other things in this city uh, and get everybody working together on the same page. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.